Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan's newly formed $48 billion venture, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, is making its first bet with an investment in New York-based startup Andela, a for-profit company that trains software developers in Africa. Joining us now to discuss is WSJ Senior Deputy Technology Bureau Chief Scott Thurm and Andela co-founder and CEO Jeremy Johnson. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Scott, I'm going to start with you. This is the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative's first major investment. They're leading a $24 million Series B funding round. What prompted the venture to invest in Andela, as you understand it? So uh, what, what we've been told is that one of uh, the Zuckerberg people, one of the people who had been working on education initiatives for uh, one of Zuckerberg's preceding foundations, uh, met uh, one of the uh, Andela people at a conference a year or so ago. Um, what, what you're seeing here, though, is this sort of the, the one of the consequences of the way they structured this uh, this this uh, Chan, uh, Chan Zuckerberg initiative, which is to say, it's not a, a, a typical foundation. They set it up as a limited liability corporation, which gave them the freedom to invest in for-profit ventures like Andela, which is very different than sort of prior generations of philanthropy in the U.S. Now, Jeremy, you met three months ago in Menlo Park with Mark Zuckerberg. Tell us about that meeting. What did you guys talk about? You know, it turns out uh, he's a totally nice guy, <laughs> really thoughtful, and cares a lot about the education space. And we spent a lot of the time talking about what was happening in the field of education and then why Andela was growing so quickly. And when you got the call, what did you think? You know, at that point, I'd gotten to know the folks at Chan Zuckerberg, CZI, pretty well and had, had a pretty good understanding of the kind of impact they wanted to make in the world, the ways they were looking to help really like unleash human potential around right. the world. And so I think I knew what I was getting into. But as you can imagine, it's always a little bit intense. Was there anything surprising about the conversation? Uh, really just how down to earth he was, but also how much uh, he really cares deeply about the projects that he's involved with and the ways in which those projects, companies, uh, have the ability to impact the world more broadly. All right, so tell us about Andela. What inspired you to start this and what does it do exactly? You know, it kicked off as a result of a series of conversations in Nairobi two and a half years ago when I was with a previous company. Uh, I was there to give a talk for the MasterCard Foundation. Uh, and it then began this sort of multi-month conversation around how you would try to leverage education to increase access to opportunity around the world and how this group of incredibly talented uh, people that I met, technologists, uh, didn't have direct access into the global tech ecosystem. And you started in 2014, correct? That's exactly right. We turned two last month. Congratulations. Uh, Scott, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative is hardly the first also to express interest in Andela. What other Silicon Valley companies are participating in this funding round? So uh, Google, uh, the entity known as GV, which you may know better as Google Ventures, uh, is involved in this. And then um, uh, Om Pierre Omidyar's uh, uh, outfit is involved as well. And there's a couple of other uh, uh, more typical venture capital firms also, in, uh, also have invested in Andela. So that's very exciting news. Jeremy, congratulations on all of this. Tell us about the Andela fellows, because they're really the core of, of this, correct? I would love to. And I also, important to note, though, there are a number of Africa-based venture funds, and we also have a Nigerian co-founder. And so Andela really is a combination of entrepreneurs, but also problem solvers coming together from both Africa and North America to try to really in a scalable way, solve the challenge of how do you unlock human so capital. So you say in a scalable way. So now with this money, the plan is to scale that's, Andela, That's correct? exactly right. And going back to the, the fellows are incredibly important, though. The fellows, there have been 40,000 applicants to the program over the first two years and a 0.7% acceptance rate. The fellows, uh, honestly, I couldn't get into Andela anymore. <laughs> the fellows are extraordinary human beings, and really they're the best example of the truth that Brilliance is evenly distributed around the world. And so what's the goal? They are paid for four years to learn 
computer programming, software development, and then is the end goal they will work in the U.S. tech field or they will work in Africa? The goal is to create the next generation of great technology leaders and entrepreneurs across the continents of Africa. Okay. And so the intent is that they're going to launch companies and also take senior roles at companies across Africa. Uh, you're absolutely going to have people going all over the world. It's mm -hmm. The world is flat at this point. Absolutely. Uh, we have people visiting back and forth, but there's a very strong feeling within the Andela community of wanting to impact the country that you're from. And how much are the fellows paid as they're studying and how much can they expect to make once they graduate? A fellow typically earns a middle class wage in their community, the equivalent of what you earn as a software developer in that place. And to say the least, uh, it has a significant impact long term on lifetime expected earnings, but the fellows are focused again on what is the impact they can make in the world in many ways, just like Mark Zuckerberg. That's right, Jeremy. Thank you for that. Now, Scott, up until now, Priscilla Chan and Mark Zuckerberg's investments have been scattered. They're now unified under the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. What other kinds of investments have they made or are they considering in? And they are investing in both nonprofit and for profit. So what are they going to do with the profits? Well, what they said they'll do with the profits is reinvest them in the initiative itself, right? So the $48 billion you referenced earlier, that's the sort of rough approximation of uh, what, the, what, the found, what the initiative would be worth. They've said that they, they want to give away 99% of Mark's holdings in Facebook over the course of their lives. Right. So if you value that at what Facebook was trading at yesterday, that works out to be about $48 billion. They say any profits they make on in investments in for-profit companies like Andela or others They'll reinvest in the initiative. Up till now, Mark's been best known, I think, for investing in, in, in the education field. Um, he made that very well-known uh, 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 donation to the Newark schools a few years ago. Uh, Dr. Chan has been involved in starting a new school out here in the Bay Area. Um, they, they've also uh, done a lot in the health field. The uh, General Hospital in San Francisco is now renamed for him after a big donation last year. So education and health seem to be the two areas where they've they've tried to make the biggest impact up till now. All right, now Jeremy, Vivian Wu, who is from the Chan Zuckerberg mm -hmm. Initiative, is now a member of your board. That was part of the deal. Do you expect her to be very involved in the day-to-day -day running of the company? Uh, I expect her to be very involved as a board member, absolutely. So in the day-to-day -day running of the company, I think the board expects us to run the company. But when it comes to like how the board is assembled, you've got some prominent folks who have been amazing allies over the past couple of years. And she made it clear that this was this is not something that they were taking lightly, right. that they expect us to be well run and they really care about the impact and scale we can get to. And you and welcome so, that input. Without question. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much. Congratulations, Scott. Thank you. Thanks to both of you.